This presentation highlights a 100% online science education program that's emerged from my long career in science and technology and in teaching science education, both in face-to-face -face and online formats. These courses could be conducted by Holy Apostles College and Seminary or by similar Catholic institutions. The program was designed to meet the time constraints, financial considerations, and global reach needed by Catholic educators if they are to bring forward STEM programs, that is science, technology, engineering, and math, that meet high quality standards. These courses are not directly about the science content. They're about preparing the individuals who teach science so they can be productive, engaging, and effective. Higher education faculty can often need help finding sound, psychologically effective ways to engage the learners. Teachers in high school and middle school can learn inquiry approaches and useful technologies. And of course, the soon-to-be teacher definitely needs guidance and support. Homeschool parents and those who deal with youth in many different contexts can benefit as well. Actually, anyone interested in good STEM education can benefit from these courses and all materials are consonant with Catholic principles. Just to highlight the courses that are being offered, there's a document in the associated website with a lot more detail. A Foundations of Science Teaching Certificate would begin with a course designed to acclimate the participant into the modern day framework of education. This course overviews ways to plan a year-long curriculum and studies the requirements of a unit while considering how to make an educational environment that is engaging and motivating, it is recommended as the first course for the program. The next four courses are focused on shorter classroom timeframes where the participant develop lessons towards a particular focus. There is an inquiry-based lecture where students engage in questions about science and where actual science readings are used to teach skills in communicating about science a classroom basic lab, and labs that involve students gathering data and making explanations, often using spreadsheets and data analysis. Labs and demos that use probeware and data sensors, devices now readily available for the classrooms. And units that have students working towards a culminating project, even possibly with some original data gathered by the students. In addition, an entire short course is devoted to looking at different ways of understanding if the students are learning through assessments and evaluations. This program was designed with an understanding of the need for quality science education courses and with an understanding of the ways that technology can help advance education today across time and geography. To respect the time constraints of adults, the courses were designed in a short format that is, each course could be offered over a one-month time frame, or possibly a longer time frame with assignments that are due on a bi-weekly basis instead of a weekly basis. All the courses were designed to be taken independently. However, it's recommended that the foundation course be taken first. The courses could be offered either as a MOOC, for which there would be no charge, and they could also be offered for credit, for which there would be a fee. A certificate could be provided if students met a satisfactory evaluation for all six courses. Since evaluators need compensation for their time, a fee could be charged for the credit-bearing courses. All the courses and the guides and documentations needed for the institutions and evaluators are available at the Catholic Education Online website. The educational philosophy embedded within all the science education courses themselves comes from the research into best practice from the present understanding of educational psychology and from the instructor's many years of experience working in middle schools and high schools in teacher education. Courses are aligned with the general principles from standard setting organizations and can help participants prepare their students for high stakes testing and for good learning. Catholic educators need to be able to discern what is high quality and appropriate from these standard setting organizations and thus make informed decisions about how to use these often helpful materials. Having developed online courses since 1998, I've combined both theoretical and applied psychology and plentiful experience to create 100% online courses where the participants, who are expected to interact within their convenience over the time frame of each module, can become active and productive in a learning community. 
during this process, participants develop and share work that they can use with their own students. Much is to be learned from working with others within the courses. The courses also incorporate technologies that can greatly enhance learning, such as video capture, slide presentations, spreadsheets, and data probes. These technologies are all presented with text and video tutorials to help participants if necessary to learn how to use these science and communication tools. As evident from Pope Francis's quote on this page, it's essential that good Catholic educators understand how to use these tools. If necessary, alternative assignments will be given to people who are coming from parts of the world where these technologies are not available. In using these courses and the certification program, Catholic education institutions will need to decide about the time frame of the course, the free versus fee options, the procuring, training, and paying of evaluators, and whether evaluation should occur during the time frame of the course or even at some later time. These decisions will have financial, marketing, and implementation consequences that need to be addressed by the institution. At the website, you will find the fully developed course materials with embedded video training, directions for running the courses, including grading sheets and rubrics, and you will find materials on selecting and training evaluators, detailed background information on decisions needed, and even documents that can be modified to serve as brochures. The world can benefit greatly from faith-filled science education and strong communities of teachers. I hope that Holy Apostles and other education institutions can use these courses to good purpose. Thank you for your time and attention.